In 1903, Henry Ford began manufacturing the Model A. At first, people were very hesitant to buy the new machine for its so-called lack of utility and inefficiency. Some had even criticized these as murder machines. In some ways, these people were not wrong, for car accidents are causing over 30,000 fatalities annually, yet we continue to support these horseless carriages because they have proven to be an inelastic good for many. Driverless cars appear to act as another hurdle down the road of progress. What bothers people is not the fact that an accident had occurred, rather that the accident was linked towards a currently developing machine that has not yet seen widespread use. Their fear? System malfunction. Consumers are constantly anxious about poor software developments or system hijacks because they are not in control of their surroundings. Much like people are worried when hitchhiking a ride from a rather reckless driver, consumers have difficulty trusting the machine to do what they expect it to do, which is get from point A to point B with ease and without any accidents. After all, that is the purpose of these vehicles. Studies have shown that there can be a 90% reduction in the rate of accidents by removing human error and emotion. Without a doubt, we are extremely prone to mistakes, even in life or death situations. Our imperfections on the road cause hundreds of deaths each day. A machine that could resolve these problems would be a hot item on the market. At least, not at the moment. Accident rates are currently higher in driverless cars. Why? For starters, the driverless cars are not humans, so they may not expect the unexpected as we are able to do. For instance, we may expect a neighboring car to instantaneously drive in front of us, but a driverless car may not sense that upcoming action and will react as if nothing happened, thus possibly resulting in an accident. And not only that, but other people have difficulty driving alongside these vehicles because of their unpredictable behavior. That's right, we expect drivers to react imperfectly, so we adjust our driving style to stay safe. But driverless cars perform almost perfectly, so much so that humans don't expect it. How ironic. However, unlike the commonly held belief, in no instance of reported accidents did system malfunction ever occur, nor was there clear evidence of product defects, so we cannot correlate the accidents with poor software development or manufacturing errors. As for driverless cars in their current stage, if we had to blame anyone, it would have to be the owner. As the saying goes, let the buyer beware. These vehicles are engineered to near perfection, however, imperfection seems to function better at the moment. There will, however, come a time when the usage of these machines will become so widespread that it becomes more of a manufacturing issue thus holding the manufacturer liable. After all, regular car companies such as Mitsubishi, Volvo, and Volkswagen have reported a staggering amount of recalls, so much so that their recall rate was found to be greater than their selling rate. Bottom line, unless everyone had a driverless car, we will continue to see these sorts of accidents. Until then, let us stay safe on the roads as we progress towards a century of more advanced and safe driving.